What up, YouTube? Today's video, we're gonna do a little bit of mushroom hunting. It's my first time actually getting out and being able to look for them really hard. Um, I stopped at one of my small spots yesterday, and uh, it got it got raided before I had a chance chance to get in there. I found probably two dozen good sized stems that were cut off, but I did find five pretty good sized whites that they missed. So I'm going to a secret spot that nobody knows about besides me. And uh, I usually find a, a couple dozen every year back there in good sized ones and I've actually found the biggest mushroom I ever found back there. So. Hopefully we can find a whole bunch of the big ones, and um, uh, we'll be able to fry them up tonight. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. We're just going to look around here. There's quite a bit of area that I can look over, and hopefully we find some. Stay tuned. I'm sure we will. Might even find a shed or two. Found some bones. Thank you. Raccoon or a possum or a skunk or something like that, I'm not sure. I just kicked some deer up over there. There's a couple of good dead elms, standing dead elms around here. You can hear him blowing at me right now. So we'll keep our eye out for more bone and obviously for the mushrooms. Keep going. Sad. I just I could smell something was dead and I looked over I'm not going to show you guys but there's a, a fawn probably only like a week old and the coyotes got to it that's sad that's that's shitty but yeah I definitely want to keep your eye out for those guys you can step on them the way they like to hide man that's, that's too bad but I'm in an area where I don't really find a lot of mushrooms usually. I mean, it looks great. There's a lot of standing dead elms with bark hanging off of them. But there's only like one little section back off this way where I usually find all the mushrooms. So I was just going through the thick stuff looking for sheds right now. We're going to head over to the section where we find mushrooms after I peek around here a little bit more. And we'll get some fungus among us. Stay tuned. I'm looking for a little section, a little opening like the one I'm standing in. And I think it's the way I'm going, but I'm not 100% positive. When this stuff greens up back here, you can't tell where you're going. But I keep going through this stuff and hopefully I pop out and find it because there's a couple of dead elms in that little open section. And I found mushrooms there before, so we'll keep looking for it. Little guy's just chilling. Little walk, anyways. See him hiding on me down in there. He does not want to be found. But guess what? I found him. Looks like a good white. I'll make a couple of circles around here and see if I can find a couple more. We're on the board. Look at this. Somebody's back here eating them. We'll leave that one for the animals. Man, dang it. Spread the spores. Well, hopefully most of them aren't like that. Man, we'll keep looking. Hopefully we can find some that are whole. <laughs> keep moving. I stepped right over top of that dude. <laughs> He's right along the edge of that dead elm. How did I not see him, but I seen the smaller one. All right, cool. He's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Something's starting to eat him up. A 
what the heck? They're starting to dry up too. Figured I was a little late. We got two up. And this is the little opening I was looking for last time. Because I found some shrooms right up here. See that dead tree right there? There's a stump right there. I found them all along there before. So hopefully we find a couple. Walk up. See if they pop there this year. It's been a couple of years since I found them there last time. But I can only hope. Check all sides of the stump. And there's an apple tree right in the woods here. And that they pop up under too. Not seeing any. Keep it on fawn. She's hiding. Tucked her head in the grass. We're gonna back out of here. Head the other way. So we don't disturb her. Mama's close by, I'm sure. The cutie. I was waiting to do that out here. Let's go the other way. See that little fawn? She just lay in there. She kept her head down the whole time. It was probably. I don't know. Ten foot from her, if that. Eight foot when I seen her. We backed out of there, left her alone. I'm sure mama's close by. She'll come back. So let's keep going. Looking for shrooms. We're almost to the good spot where it gets real shroomy. Hopefully we find the mother. Tip here real quick. Um, uh, when you get into an area where you're looking around and you're like, man, a mushroom could almost grow anywhere. Over here. Always watch where you're stepping. If you've hunted mushrooms long enough, you've stepped on a couple. And that is one of the mushroom hunters most hated situations. So when you hit a patch and you look down lift your boot up and there's a big old mushroom squashed under there. You can usually salvage it, but you, you, you'd rather not step on them if you don't have to. So always watch where you're stepping every step. I stopped, looked up, you know it's a big mushroom when you can see it from 12 yards away. <laughs> Found a big end. Let's go grab it. Mushrooms around here are so sporadic, it's crazy. Because it'll just be like one, one. And usually they a lot pop up at once. Oh no. Oh no. There was an even bigger one that something heavier. And I get over there and look. Look at the bases. That was a lot. That was a lot of them. Somebody else might have came back here. I don't know. That's disappointing. That's a nice mushroom. Oh man, that's so disappointing. Look how thick that is. Look at that base compared to that one. Good God, man. Oh, I hope there's more back here. I'm sick to my stomach. Look at that. That would have been a giant mushroom. That's a 20 ounce pot bottle sized mushroom. And I found them that big back here before. I'm gonna go check a couple of these dead elms over here and then we're gonna work our way back through. Man, I hope somebody hadn't came back here and took all of them. Oh man. Fingers crossed that it was just something to eat. Got up, sweating, ate up. And we found three. I'm a little surprised. I'm a little disappointed too. I don't know if somebody else has been back here picking them or the animals are eating them or what. But I was hoping to find a mess. But with the others I got in the fridge, these three right here, we ought to have enough for a good appetizer before dinner. So 
thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button tell me what you think in the comments and let me know if you know of any other animals other than bugs and grubs that would eat morels like i don't know deer or squirrels or rabbits you know they don't look too appetizing but who knows let me know if you guys know of another animal that does eat eat morels and um uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the like button again do it five times who cares Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.